Out of 11 teams and two groups, we won every single game to top our group and end up in the semi-final where we faced Samoa and won 2-0 on aggregate and now we have to face Vanuatu in the final to hopefully qualify for the World Cup. We don't actually qualify for the World Cup. I'm pretty sure we have to go through another step. I, I really don't understand how this whole qualification process actually works. Hey guys, and welcome back to the sixth episode of the FM21 New Zealand Road to the World Cup with me, Rex with him. I forgot to say that in the last episode, where today we are facing Vanuatu in the World Cup Oceania qualifiers final to then verse another team. I really should learn how this qualification stages work, but I, I don't really know how, so it's not a great advertisement for it, but subscribe to the channel maybe quality football manager content coming just about every single day as well as liking this video if you are enjoying the series so far could we please get six likes again today that would be incredible to continue the amazing support on the series and hopefully give us a wee bit more luck going into this last game against Vanuatu if we lose it it's going to be pretty upsetting and I'm now now starting to think maybe there is a way I can work out at it. Oh, I'll work it out later. But we are playing two games against Vanuatu today. The first at home, then the second away from home. We've beat them previously. We're definitely the favourites here. I'm going to really quickly see if I can work out how we're going to qualify. It just says winner qualifies for the World Cup playoff. Who's that again? It doesn't say who it's against. Uh, um, maybe Concaf. It's, 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 no, that's not even who we versed last time. One, one time we versed Concaf where we versus Mexico. Another time it was Peru. I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll have to find out later. Just, maybe we're getting through. For all I know, this is it, and we get through to the World Cup. I doubt it, though. This is the team that we're going with for our first game of the day. The only thing that we have changed since last time is getting Doyle out of the squad and bringing Kakachi back into the 11, and he is going to be starting for today's match. I've already released the squad. The tactics, though. I know that I kept you all riveted with my tactical approaches last game. I want more goals though. So I've taken off the focus play down the left and the right. And I feel like I did something else. I may have imagined it. But I feel like that might help us a wee bit. Because Thomas is a quality player in that middle. We can still play on those wings. It, it, there's logic to it. There is some serious logic to it. So we've got Chris Wood, Singh, Thomas, Rojas... Then Nick, uh, Marco got there eventually. Bell, Kerwin, Reed, Smith, Kakache, and Wood. And let's jump into the first game, the first leg at home. I'm expecting like four, four goals. That's what I want. That's actually my my want. Anything less than that, I will be disappointed with. That's not me. That's not me even trying to be cocky here. I want four goals because then next game, calm, cool, collected. No, we're going through to the qualification. That's all I need. Just no surprises here. No surprises. They've had a shot already. Okay, that's a surprise. But we've had a shot straight back at them. Can we get a highlight early on? A goal early on to settle the nerves? Because that, that shot, it was on target as well. Like It's not like it was a bad shot. Well, it was an XG of 0 0.3. But it's it's still concerning. And we need to show this team a wee bit of respect. I feel like I'm assuming we're coming away with the win. To be fair, I assume we're always going to come away with the win. We're versing, you know... 152nd in the world ranked team so you kind of hope that you'd be coming away with the win every time and Rojas's shot there is not the best so maybe I shouldn't be so confident only two shots against them but we do have another highlight and can this one be the goal we don't score early goals let's change that today Rojas on the ball playing it over to Thomas he's in the right sort of an area don't shoot don't you of course you shot I really don't want it to be like last episode but I have a good feeling it might be exactly like last episode. Three shots to their one. They've now had three shots as well. How did we not see that highlight? The XG but didn't exactly skyrocket and sing. Has been injured now. There's there's nothing positive coming out of the first thirty five minutes of this game. Could we actually like score it it must be nah, I'm I'm now I'm coming out and saying it. It it must be my tactic. Like it, they just can't be this bad at finishing. It's gotta be me to a degree i will i will stick my hand up and admit that yeah I might, I might have a part to play in this we're moving up the tempo a wee bit hopefully that surprises them before halftime are we going to see a highlight are we going to see a goal we do see a highlight 
Let's see the goal. Makawa on the ball playing as an inside forward. Maybe that's going to be the difference maker. Wood back to Kakachi to whip a ball in. Wood's in. The oh my gosh. I thought Wood was going to get the touch, but it actually came down to Thomas. And Thomas is. Oh my goodness. There's a brilliant save by Vanuatu goalkeeper. It's not over yet though. Makes another fine save. Well, it's coming straight in him. But I really thought that Wood was going to nod that one into the back of the net. But it went over to Thomas and then it hit the. I don't know. It was a brilliant save. I'm not happy with the performance, that's all I know. Let's come out of the gates firing here. An early goal, an early goal is all I want. If this is a nil all draw, I will be incredibly stressed for the next game. But we're on the ball right now. Let's, at 10 minutes into the second half, that's, that's a decent time to score. And Rojas is in. How, how, no, 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 no. You can't, I can't actually blame this all on me. Like, come on, that, that needs to go in the back of the net, Rojas. That, it's just got to happen. Please let me know down in the comments if you below. Is my tactic terrible or are they just not finishing their dinner? Chris Wood, like, you had options to your left. You had options to run through the middle a bit more. We have an XG of 1.86. Come on. What's going on here? Should we be a wee bit more patient about it? Should we be working? Maybe we'll, yeah, okay. Let's work the ball into the box. And let's take it down a wee bit. Let's stop the overlapping and see if that helps us. Because we seem to be a bit clueless of what to do. We're ignoring the heading, which seems completely non-intelligent, just like that word, because that's kind of what we've been focused on this entire time, but it's, I don't know. I really don't know. I'm at a loss, boys and girls. We all know I am, and I'm sat here trying to decide who to bring off, and it's going to be Marco, and we're bringing Sutton back on. He has been a real asset this entire time, and we're going to play Thomas is a Mazala now. Hopefully he can attack a wee bit more in those wide positions. Find the gaps. Find the spaces. Get him behind. Score a goal. 15 minutes to go and it's still nil all. And Bell's been injured and Tommy Smith is tied. It's, it's not going great. It's not going great. But we're going to bring Roofer on and hope that he can assist a goal to get us the win here. 2.20 XG. We've got to get a goal at some point. Only 7 minutes to go. Chris Wood's tied. Smith's tied. Thomas is tied. Everyone's tied five minutes of additional time just one more highlight i don't want to go attacking because it's an away goal would be incredible for them we've literally not scored in that game that is horrendous i mean from, from a video making standpoint brilliant you know it, make, it makes it so much more dramatized for the next one but oh my gosh and we've got two people out from injury we've got two people out from injury i don't even remember marco being injured how long is he out for what what's going on what, is he out? Is he out? What's going on? Who's who's left the squad? There's people that are gone now. What happened to them? It's, I'm I'm working this out. We have got rid of Joe Bell and Singh. They're two of our best players, man. Five to eleven days. He he could have lived. He could have lived. What is it? It's just a a pulled thigh. I pulled my thigh left, right, and centre, and, and pulled ankle. Oh, yeah, that's probably a bit more serious. <laughs> Oh, I don't know. Who am I picking? I have no idea. I have absolutely no idea. It has to be a winger, I guess. And then that has to be a central midfielder. No clue. We're going into the national pool. Yeah, that's... Ugh. If we lose this game, I've already said I'll be furious, but uh, I, I will be furious. We've decided on the two people, the people, the people that we're bringing in. Andre De Jong being the first one. His first cap for me, he's made six caps in real life, and he, he scored two goals. So I don't really know why I haven't called him up yet. I think it's because I don't like the lack of pace that he brings. And I don't think he's very different in style to Chris Wood. But he can play down in the cam role, which is the reason why I'm bringing him in instead of a other central midfielder. We didn't have as many brilliant players we've also got elijah just who is coming into the squad able to play on that left wing or the right wing position i think he's going to be a great rotation rotation option for the next game might make an appearance let's be honest here it's, it's pretty unlikely but he, he could make an appearance so we're going to submit them and just it's hopefully not lose in the next game i'm not going to lie to you boys and girls thoughts of me redoing this game if we don't win it are certainly circulating my mind. I am enjoying the save way too much to let it go just yet. But the only way we're going to not let it go is by winning this game. And I am disappointed to say I've kind of whistled out here. I've gone back to basically what is the Gagan Press. The typical Gagan Press 
The only difference is we're playing slightly wider and with slightly less tempo. Not not proud of myself here, but desperate times call for desperate measures. Maybe we should be pressing the... Nah, nah, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. This is the team that we're going with though. We've got Wood, we've got McAlwitt, Thomas, Barbaruzes, Rufa, Stim, uh, Marco, got there eventually. Kerwan, Reed, Boxall, Kakachi, and Wood. We've got in between, on the bench Tommy Smith because he's a wee bit tired. Marco Rojas because he's a wee bit tired. Chris Wood is apparently a wee bit tired. You think I'm making the same mistake of not playing Chris Wood in an important game? No, I don't think I'm ever going to make that mistake again. Let's submit the team. We're away from home against Vanuatu. Oh, we just can't lose it. We just can't. Like, it's just not going to happen. It's not an option. And I need to get this team talk right. Let's go with... Oh, uh, you should be winning this game. Oh, no. Okay, let's let's actually go out there and say, I have faith in you. See if it works for anyone. Oh, gosh. Oh, oh no. Oh, no. I'm not covering myself in glory early on in this game. But it's kicked off. It's nil all on the day. They didn't score any away goals. That's a positive thing. And we've already had two shots. There's another positive thing. And the first opportunity is coming our way. Is it a positive thing? Is it going to be ours? They're on the ball. Playing it with some sort of intelligence, but kicking it straight to the goalkeeper. That's what we like to see, Vanuatu. Keep it up, boys. Keep it up, boys. Wood, trying to find someone, finds Winston Reid. Just an easy short pass. I like it. Kerwin moving forward. Oh, that's a terrible pass, but it's come straight back to us. And there's a great header into Rufa from Reed. And Wood is coming quite deep here. Is he going to dribble past all the defenders here? He ends up playing a ball over the over to Makawa, who plays it all the way back to Kakachi. I like this patient build-up play. We're not trying to force anything. Thomas running past the defenders, and he scores. And we are 1-0 up. And that is exactly what we needed. I am not proud of the fact that when we move to a pretty basic Gagan press, we start scoring goals. But I don't care. I shouldn't be complaining. We've only gone and scored in a game that we needed to score. Macau with the assist, it's a pretty basic assist, but it is a brilliant run. It is a brilliant finish, and it's enough to put us 1-0 up on the day. And that calmed my nerves a lot more going into the rest of the game. Still 70 minutes to go, though. Can we add to our tally? Can we let them score one? We're definitely not letting them score one, even though they've had two shots, to be fair. They could get one against the run of play. I'm really hoping that they don't. This is an away goal that we've got, though. So even if they do score one, we're still going through, and they just about did. What a save by Wood. Is it Wood or Wood? I feel, I'm going with Wood, just so that we're not confused. He was offside anyway, but that was a magnificent save, and that's exactly why he's our number one for now. Hats off to you, mate. That is brilliant. They play it all the way back to the goalkeeper, clear it long, and we pick it up now. Macawit trying to get another assist, but doesn't go for the absolutely historic, spectacular pass there. But he does get it back here. He could get another assist if he finds the right pass. And it's Thomas and Macawit linking up again. And I should be playing this combination every single game because it is working now. Thomas, take a bow, son. Two goals. We haven't been doing too well in the last few games, but you have certainly played well today. And that's a great header. You'd think that Chris Wood would be the man to head the ball into the back of the net. Not bitter about it at all, but I don't care. It's a 2-0 win right now, and I think that we're going to come away with the final result that we wanted. Are we going to add to the tally? Oh, Boxall's offside. That was a really good header by Reed, and Boxall was in the perfect position, but unfortunately he did absolutely stray offside there. We can see by quite a fair distance. Reed's shot isn't going in, so it was fair enough to get a touch on the end of it. But we're not going to mind. We're still 2-0 up. And as things stand, we're moving on to the qualification for the World Cup against a team that I have no idea who we're versing. It is going to be intense to work out who we're facing. And I'm very stressed out that it's going to be a very good team. But I back New Zealand every day of the week. If Wood's hitting the ball over like that, I'm not going to back them. And I don't actually want to injure the man, so I'm going to take him off. He is... The best player in our entire squad by miles, but he has not had not not had the best game so far. And I'm actually going to bring on De Jong for his first game in a New Zealand short shirt underneath my management. And I'm hoping that he can score a goal. Give me a headache, mate. Make me think about actually putting you in the squad without people getting injured to get you in there. We've also got a couple of tied legs. Kerwan's played all of the minutes so far so he's going to have a wee break Hudson Mahongi can do his job oh no Tim Payne can do his job let's actually give the natural right back 
the natural right back spot. Thomas to whip a ball in, doesn't come to anyone there. They could be on a counter attack here. I have a pretty solid feeling that this is just a fake football manager highlight, but it's still going on. And Marco's on the ball, playing it into Costa. Costa moving it forward, goes for a shot, he's scored. It was a real highlight. It was, I think it was a fake highlight that ended up turning into a real highlight. And Marco and Costa linking up. That's a brilliant goal. What a hit, son. That is a magical hit. Whoa. I'm just going to say it one more time. What a hit. The goalkeeper could potentially be doing a wee bit better there, but he's put it into the back of the net from about 30 yards out. You're, you're never going to complain about that, are you? And I think I'm going to have to stick with this tactic. <laughs> Realistically, we weren't scoring goals in the last few games. We now all of a sudden know exactly how to score goals, and it's yeah, because of the tactical change. I will put it down to that. I will admit maybe just keeping it basic would have been the way to go. I'm no tactical genius. Let's just go with the preset defaults, and they've almost hit an absolute worldie there, but luckily for us it goes over the bar. And I'm going to make my final substitution. I want to give someone... Some experience that hasn't gotten it yet, and it is going to be just who is not, maybe even not had a game. New Zealand shirt had two caps in the New Zealand shirt, so they will get him one more. Let's add to the tally. What foot is he? He's left footed, so we'll play him as an inside forward as well as McCowett. I like that we cutting inside action, especially with De Jong up front now, sort of playing as a more advanced forward instead of a complete forward target man sort of thing that Chris Wood normally does. And with only a couple of minutes to go, it's all wrapped up. Three minutes of additional time, and we have one last opportunity. Are we going to get another goal? De Jong's in there. If he scored, I would have definitely, I probably would have gotten him into the next round, but unfortunately, it's now Vanuatu running away. I've skied it, and with only a few seconds to go, we've got one. I mean, I'm trying to just, you know, ride this one out, finish it on a high. If they score here, I'm actually going to be quite upset. But if we score here, I'm going to be quite happy. 4 0 is a very. Oh, De Jong, De Jong, De Jong, De Jong. You are so unlucky that we saw that highlight because that is horrendous. Absolutely terrible. I guess we're just going to see the final whistle here with only 10 seconds to go. Not even real 10 seconds because, you know, speed up the play. Who doesn't speed up the play in Football Manager? Like, we've got places to be, people to see. Uh, am I right, boys and girls? I, uh, I know I'm right. Kakachi throws the ball in. The final whistle has got to be sounded, ref. It's game, set, and match. And it is game, set, and match. I don't know why we're getting, why are we getting a trophy. We've qualified... It's, it's not the... Oh, I feel like this game is getting quite confused. It's it's um not the Oceania Nations Cup, I don't think. It's the, the World Cup qualify. Okay, different competitions, mate, but, you know, well, I'll take it. I'll take it. Yeah, but, okay. No, actually, I am very confused. Maybe it's because... Oh, I think I know what's happened here, actually. In real life, the Oceania Nations Cup, which I believe it is called, or Confederations Cup, or whatever it's called has um, been cancelled, just like so it's basically the Oceania equivalent of the Euros. However, Football Manager might not be picking that up, so they might have combined the, the European like style Euros Oceania version into the, the, the World Cup. Does that make sense? I think, I, I think I've explained that mildly well there, but... We saw a trophy celebration. That's the important thing. We were in the World Cup qualifiers. We come away with the win. And it's just time to find out who we're facing in the next round. I have no idea. And I guess we're going to have to find out in tomorrow's episode. But for now, we're going to play these two friendlies against Uruguay and Peru. Unless they're getting rescheduled. Okay. You'll know from the title. But tomorrow's episode is either going to be the World Cup qualifier or a game against Uruguay and Peru. Either or, it's a brilliant setup of games. I mean, Uruguay is a great team. Peru is a bit of a rival of New Zealand after they knocked us out of the running to be in the World Cup last time. Either way, it's going to be a brilliant episode. But either way, it is ending here for today thank you guys so much for watching thank goodness we beat them in the second leg 3-0 i'll take it i will take it make sure to like this video if you have enjoyed it as well as subscribing to the rex ofm channel if you are wanting that daily ish football manager content coming your way and i'll see you all later